Hi! In this video, we'll create this polished dynamic dashboard in just 15 minutes. So whether you are new to dashboards or want to enhance your skills, this step-by-step -step guide will make it both easy and fun. We will follow the three core steps of creating an Excel dashboard. First, we'll set up the overall structure of our dashboard. Second, we'll dive into creating impactful visualizations. And finally, we'll personalize and polish the dashboard. Step 1, Structure. The first thing we'll do is clean up the workspace by removing the grid lines to give our dashboard a polished look. Then, select a nice base color to set the tone for the rest of the design. Think of this as choosing a theme for your dashboard. Now let's add some shapes to define the sections of our dashboard. And choose a complementary color to make them pop. Pro tip, you can easily adjust the roundness of any rectangle shape by just dragging the corners to get the perfect look. Another tip, adding subtle shadows under your shape effects will give your design a professional touch. So why does this matter? Outlining your dashboard's structure isn't just about aesthetics. It helps set the expectations with your stakeholders. 
It provides a visual guide for the metrics and data that you'll showcase. One technique I've found incredibly helpful is sharing an early draft with my manager or my team and saying something like, Hi, here's the initial layout and data that I am planning to include on the dashboard. I would love any feedback before moving forward. So this not only shows initiative, but also ensures you're aligned with their vision from the get-go. And great job! We've just set up this structure and it's already looking sharp. Step 2, Visuals. First, we'll head over to the tables sheet where we have our data, the sales per month table, sales per region, customers per month, and the metrics table. Let's start with the sales per month. So for data like this, where we have the months, actual sales, and the target sales, the best chart to use is a combo chart. It's a combination of a column and line chart. So this allows us to see both the sales and targets clearly in one view. Next, we'll create a chart for the sales per region. If you're unsure which chart to use, simply click the arrow down button and Excel will show you recommended charts based on your data. It's super helpful, especially for beginners. For customers per month, we want to see how the number of customers changes over time. So the line chart is the way to go. It shows the trends clearly and beautifully. Now that we've got all of the charts that we need, let's move them over to the dashboard sheet. Here's a pro tip, since we've already included the chart titles, you can choose to hide the title element by unticking its box. You can also toggle other chart elements here like the data labels to keep things neat. Finally, to display the metrics on our dashboard, just add a text box and using the formula bar, select the metric that you want to highlight.
And there you have it, we've added all of our charts and visualizations to the dashboard. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. We post free tutorials every week so hit the bell button to stay updated. Thank you for your amazing comments and support. Your feedback inspires us to keep creating helpful videos. And if you got any requests for our next tutorial, let us know in the comments. For the final step, let's customize your dashboard. Start by adding your company logo here. Place the icons just below it. Pro tip, you can make these icons interactive by using hyperlinks to navigate through your file. Just right click on an icon, choose link, and select the tables sheet, or any sheet you'd like the icon to point to. Now, when you or your boss clicks on the icon, it will instantly take you to that sheet. Let's repeat this process for the other icons. Keep things consistent to be sure to copy these icons to all the sheets in your file. Another pro tip, since the icons now act as shortcuts to different sheets, you can hide the sheet tabs to keep things clean. Simply go to File, then Options, then select Advance, and under Display Options, uncheck the box for the Show Sheet tabs and click OK. Now you've got a polished professional dashboard. And that wraps up our tutorial. I hope this step-by-step -step guide helped you create a polished professional dashboard. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. We upload new content every week to help you sharpen your skills and boost your productivity. Thank you so much for watching and as always, feel free to leave any questions or requests for future videos in the comments below. We love hearing from you. See you in the next one.